just got into this abandoned nursing home. Uh, it's been closed for maybe a couple of years now. Um, it was really, really bad. Like they had terrible reviews and I did some research on it and they actually had a class action lawsuit. Um, I guess a bunch of the residents and the families of the residents that were here, uh, some of them obviously couldn't talk, couldn't walk. Um, it was really bad and they abused them um, physically, emotionally. Um, they didn't feed them enough. Um, they didn't give them enough rest. They withheld medications, all sorts of different things that happened in this spot. So when I read about it, I said, I gotta go over there and check it out. And unfortunately, there are some signs of scrapping, but the power's been cut. Scrappers are working at the copper, but overall, it's really cool because it's a retro. It's got cool color coordination going on. There's lots of stuff left that's old school, uh, vintage, like I said, retro colors. And also the fact that it's in the hood. It's in a very, very bad neighborhood in Detroit. So let's check it out. The nursing home opened in 1976 and initially proved to be a very successful nursing home. It was an assisted living, long-term care facility that had over 100 beds for elderly residents suffering from a variety of different health issues and other ailments, such as visually and hearing impaired, handicapped, amputees, dialysis patients, and even patients with Alzheimer's and dementia. Unfortunately, by the 2000s, the neighborhood surrounding the nursing home had become inundated with violence, drugs, prostitution, abandonment, and other crime. Initially, what happened in the neighborhood didn't seem to affect the residents or the staff of the nursing home, but that all eventually changed. It appears that during the same time period in the 2000s, the nursing home started to go downhill when a new management company took over the daily operations as well as the treatment and care of the elderly residents. Both residents and staff began to complain that the new management company was not properly taking care of patients who lived in the nursing home. There were reports of areas not being clean and properly sanitized, patients not giving the right amount of food and nutrition, patients being withheld from their medications, patients being left unsupervised for extended periods of time, and even reports of various forms of elder abuse. In one tragic case, an elderly woman drowned in one of the bathtubs after being left unsupervised. In another case, one of the elderly residents was manipulated and drained of her life savings by another family member of a different nursing home resident. And in yet another case from 2011, a resident who had dementia and was supposed to be supervised 24-7 ended up falling, hitting her head, breaking two of her legs, and ended up dying from the injury sustained from the fall. A later investigation showed that this same resident had fallen several times before that final fall that resulted in her death and nothing was done about it. After this patient's death, several more reports of patient abuse and neglect began to surface and leak out to the residents and their family members. In 2015, an investigation was completed and they found that the nursing home had, quote unquote, repeated cycles of serious deficiencies. Wild. Another one over here. Older photos in here. You can actually hear the water dripping, seeing it drip from the leaking roof. It's like photos laying around, look at that. Old family photos. Albums up here on the bed. Is this dude like hanging himself or something? What the hell? What the? Hang on. I don't even know what's going on in these photos. But that's odd. This pink hallways could be the uh, Baker Miller pink. 
which was supposed to calm and soothe patients in hospitals and psych wards and prisons, but I think it research actually showed to prove otherwise. And the pink color actually made them more hostile. This is another room here at the nursing home. This room's pretty cool too, because it's got patient belongings and stuff left behind. Over here you can see there's like a, it's like stool softener spilt everywhere. <laughs> Granny's probably constipated a little bit. Some more medications. Looks like some, some kind of bacterial water. I don't know. It's probably her back in the day. That's sad. Photographs of the patients and stuff. It's terrible. All just scattered around here on the ground. Happy birthday, Bernice. And there's like all sorts of medications and shit like sitting over here. All sorts of medical supplies just chilling. And then the last area is over here. This is more medications. Just some buckets full of medications, expired meds, and then some of the uh, dietary stuff for the residents is up in these shelves. Just wild, man. That stuff is so gross. Can't believe they would actually eat that. I guess they had to. You can see that's the way we came with the wheelchairs. There's one more room tucked over here. Here the smoke detector, low battery. This one's got a little motorized scooter here. The footrest, look at those chrome rims. Oh yeah, sick. Got little wheelies there. Jazzy. Pretty sick actually, look at that little joystick going on. Too bad it's missing an arm. Pimping in that. This looks like it was a three person room. Here's another uh, wheelchair, padded one. Nice pillow there. All black, black on black. Sweet. This one's actually probably worth something. It's in great condition too. Got a little walker over here. So this is the main office here. Let me show you some stuff here. Look at this. All this stuff. All these policies. Policy on resident fingernails? Like, seriously, what? It's funny that they have all these policies on stuff like that, but then you go to a policy on abuse, which is why this place closed, right? And look, surprise, empty. Huh. Jesus. No wonder this place closed down. Disciplinary forms for employees. Huh. <laughs> Of course, they're all blank. This looks like somebody was squatting in this one. Clothes everywhere, all over the bed. Radio, book, 
Huh, look. Hi, goodbye, Detroit. Local. A little local reading there. Razor, glasses. See how we got in. Somebody smashed out the window here. Right away, you come into the day room here. Active building business right behind us here, so we gotta stay out of the windows. But look at that, look at the paint peel too. Planner. It's like they was playing bones up in here. So they were playing bones over there and bingo here. There's another one of those barrel end tables. Look at this, somebody had some time on their hands. Could you imagine some old person doing all of this? What is that? Calligraphy? No. I'm not sure what that is. Anyways, look at the ice. Obviously some uh, water coming in. There's the ladder. See, that's how they're getting up and cutting it. Look at that fresh cut copper up there. Wow, fat copper too. That is why they are doing it. For that money. Body lift here. Here's a body lift. For people that didn't have, like, handicapped people or people that had amputated legs and whatever. getting scrapped. Here we go, some more clothes up here. The Almond Brothers Band. All right, now we're talking. Probably sell that thing on Etsy for about 20 bucks. Looks like it's a Christmas card to one of the residents. Trying to reassure him that Jesus has him. Like I said, the horror stories from this place. Awful. Residents dying, getting abused, getting neglected, drowning. Um, assault. Um, malnourished. Withholding their medications. So much stuff that I read. All right, we're up here on the last floor. The top floor. Right away, there's a pimped out reclined chair. They're starting to get to this one. It's weird how they picked the middle one first because this one is just getting started. Scrappers are starting to remove the tiles and, I, and uh, insulation to get to it. <laughs> Sink in the middle of the hall there. This room's got some good decay. Paint peel. Let's look at that stagnant water on the bed, gross. Probably waiting for the uh, bath here. Might have sat out there and waited for the shower and the bath. Here's another tub. Pull for help. There's the emergency pull string. Nice paint peel on the bathtub there. <laughs> this could have been the tub she drowned in. Spirit, talk to me. There's the pull string. Med room. Little refrigerator in here. Some walker. A little walker here. For grandma. Looks like 
iron tabs, denture cleaner, pain relief, tongue depressors, and blood glucose monitoring machines maybe with some uh, blood pressure action, moisturizing cream, my laser. That's pretty cool. But they left a lot of stuff behind. Well, that takes us to the end of today's video of the abandoned nursing home. This place was certainly a wild one to explore, especially knowing the full tragic story of what unfolded here. Thank you all for the continued support, and don't forget, subscribe to Abandoned Central to get all the latest videos. Much appreciated.